So what is considered perfect skin? Is there any such thing as perfect skin? What we really mean by perfect skin is healthy looking skin. And what is really a healthy looking skin? A skin that is free from excess pigmentation, free from wrinkles and fine lines, and that is also because it comes with your age, free from acne, and also a skin that looks really, really good, even without makeup. Now, how can you achieve healthy or perfect looking skin? You gotta develop a skincare routine. So today we are gonna be sharing some tips, some ingredients that can help you to get to healthy looking skin. Now everyone is different, and when it comes on to the skin, what works for some might not work for others. However, one thing we are sure of is that once you take care of your skin, your skin will look much better than if you just leave it as is. Just a little TLC for amazing looking skin. Hello everyone, welcome to our Saturday evening party. Oh, no, it's not a party. What it really is, is a skincare live show. So tonight we are gonna talk about skincare. We are gonna share natural ingredients that you can use on your skin to get your skin to healthy, glowing looking skin are what some would consider perfect skin. Now, according to the expert, in order to get perfect skin, there are many things that you need to do to the skin. We're gonna go through some of those and we're also gonna share ingredients that can help you to get to that. Now, this is a live show, so once you're on, just you know, keep it real, keep it in within YouTube guideline, and be free to ask as many questions, share your thoughts, share your information, share your beauty secret with us. Now, welcome our moderator to the show, Lucy. Good night, or maybe it's good evening where you are. And we also have, let's see who else is here. We have Jill and we have Anita. Hi, Anita, welcome. We also have Rita, which is 3PH Gaming. And we have some subscribers, we have some new people. Hi, Margaret, how are you? Cheryl um, Wigrid, Widrig, I think you came on before. I remember struggling to pronounce your name. So, in case you're curious about what I was just doing before I came on, I was trying to have my face to look a little more plumper, a little more lifted, a little more, you know, rosy looking. And this is what I was using. I'm using this Gosha. Now on our channel, um, you know, run about the, the, the festive season, we spoke about this a lot. We actually gave away um, some of these. This is actually a tool that can help to massage the face, okay? Massage the face for it to look naturally glowing. So what I was just doing was just massaging my cheekbones. So when I come on right now, you guys would think that I wasn't working all day, but I actually spent the entire afternoon at the spa getting my facial done. That is far from, so today was a very, very nice day in New York, Brooklyn, New York. That's where I am. However, I was stuck inside because I have work to do. I didn't get a chance to go out and I was a little jealous of people walking by and people like walking their dogs and, you know, wearing short shorts and carrying on. Mark, you know, there's a lot of wind and I really do not think that I would be out there in short shorts, but you know, look at that, look at that. See what I'm talking about? Now I look fresh and radiant, okay? And this is the glow. Massaging the skin is vital for perfect skin, okay? Whether you're gonna use a little tool like this or you're gonna use your hands. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We just was, you know, chit-chatting a little for the show to become a, a little more active. Now we have um, Teresa, welcome. Rosa Jackson, welcome. Um, my guy, welcome. And and who else is here new? If you're new, comment so we could give you a shout out. 
now when it comes on to perfect skin to get in perfect skin there are some simple simple skincare routine that you need to practice we're going to talk about these before we start um listing out our 15 natural ingredients the very first thing you need to do is to make sure that your skin is clean now how do you clean the skin you get a good cleanser and you cleanse the skin you're going to get a cleanser that is geared towards your skin type that is the base that is the foundation for perfect skin cleaning your skin skin now why do you need to clean your skin you need to clean your skin to get rid of the grease the dirt the dead skin cells and everything that actually falls on your skin during the day or even when you are sleeping how often should you cleanse your skin you cleanse your skin twice per day a.m. and p.m. some people tend to wash their face oh my face is feeling like it's it's pulling right now that is the effect from this gosha that I was using now you cleanse your face twice a day some people tend to wash their face thoroughly let's say in the morning and in the evening they use let's say a facial tissue and tissue their face off while some people tissue it off in the morning and in the evening they wash while some people wash a.m and p.m i personally wash both a.m and p.m but to each his own but whatever you do make sure that your face is totally totally clean okay and cleanser as i said is of your choice you can choose to cleanse your face with a natural cleanser and today we are thank you for contributing um 20 pounds to our show in case you're wondering oh victoria did that she just clicked on the dollar sign at the end of where you saw like you know the smiley face and the dollar sign that's how you contribute to the show also if you want a question answer you can click on the dollar sign contribute something and there it's gonna pop up thank you so much victoria for your contribution now once you cleanse your face um am and pm the next step for healthy and perfect looking skin is to make sure that your skin stay hydrated now how do you hydrate your skin you use a good facial moisturizer or you use a good facial oil or you mix the two together when we use the word hydrate that's basically what we're talking about now you have natural ingredients that you can use to hydrate the skin hydrating the skin meaning that the water is locked in the skin and when the water is locked in the skin, it keeps the skin plump and fresh. Why do you use a moisturizer? You use a moisturizer for that very reason, to lock the moisture in the skin. Most moisturizer is going to contain some form of oil and some form of a water. Okay, so that is very, very vital for perfect looking skin. Now, the next thing you need to do is to make sure to apply products on your face correctly okay now you want your skin to look good you got to know what you're applying on your skin and how to apply now here is the rules of applying products to your face you're gonna apply a facial toner and that you're gonna apply on the skin as soon as you wash your face okay as soon as you wash your face you're gonna apply the facial toner next on top of the facial toner you are gonna apply your facial serum now I love a good facial serum we're gonna talk more about the facial serum later on in the show a facial serum helps to repair the skin it is normally water-based and it's normally very light and it also penetrates the epidermis keeping the skin fresh and radiant looking after the serum you're gonna apply your facial moisturizer on top of the moisturizer you're gonna apply your facial oil you can choose to mix the facial oil and the facial moisturizer together or you can use them separately how often should you use these things on your skin for perfect skin daily daily a.m. and p.m. when it comes on to beauty products we have beauty products that is geared towards a.m. skin care and and pm skincare am skincare are normally moisturizer that is rich 
that contains some form of a SPF and while nighttime skincare most time contains some form of a retinol especially if you're looking for anti-aging look at this little trick that I'm doing I'm rolling this up with this like just rolling it up and it's just lifting in case you're just joining you're wondering what I'm doing I am massaging my face tonight using some beauty tools we're gonna share 15 natural ingredients that you can use oh my goodness look at that I'm telling you guys these things do work I'm gonna work on this side when I'm done but look at this this is looking amazing and check out my brow right here just using the beauty tool someone was asking about beauty tools so I'm basically showing that I do use beauty tools so once you cleanse you 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 toner serum and moisturizer then you are good to go and once you know how to layer it one more thing that you need to know about healthy and perfect looking skin is that you need to change your pillow case okay the pillow that you sleep on the case need to change and I'm gonna give you a little tip what I do how I take care of my pillow the way I take care of my pillows is that I do try to change my pillows as often as I can changing your pillow as often as you can doesn't have anything to do with what it do to your face okay what you need is a clean pillow case if you have your pillow for 30 years it doesn't matter if it's soft if it's floppy laying down like this like it doesn't matter once the pillowcase is clean and also once the pillow itself is clean now if you live somewhere where you don't have a dryer and you have nice amazing sunshine once in a while let's say once every three months take a clothes pin go outside with your pillows pin them on that line and leave them in the sun now that is for people without a dryer okay now if you live somewhere and you have a dryer once well I normally do this once a month I take my pillows I put them in the dryer and I turn them I put some dryer sheet in it and I turn them what happened it get really really fluffy and it smells good and then I put on once a week I change my sheet okay and that's the honest truth I've been doing this since I was a child so it becomes a habit that's what I was taught some people go once every two weeks in the summertime some people sweat more they go twice per week I know people who change their sheet twice a week but when it comes on to your pillar and your face it need to be clean to prevent a breakout when you sleep at night the grease is on the pillow the mouth dribble is on the pillow also the dead skin cell is on the pillow your partner's sweat is on the pillow you know what I mean so you definitely need to wash your pillow case as often make sure it's clean because sometimes you wake up with that breakout it is because your pillow is dirty so that's another way to get your skin to look perfect now here is another thing that you need to do and this is what I was doing just now massage your face you want your skin to look naturally glowing and perfect you massage your face you can use your hands to massage the face as a matter of fact I have no problem using my hands most of the time I'm using my hands to massage my face now if you're not in for the facial massage with the hands you can get some beauty tools they have a lot of tools out there on the market these days some amazing tools the Gosha old school you know and we also have look how fancy this is this is simple doing the same thing that this is doing look at that this is the old way this is the new school where they just kind of make these a little more spinnable and all of that but you can get a nice beauty tool and you can massage your face with it and that is gonna keep the face looking plump and firm we're gonna take some questions and then we're gonna dive in to the natural ingredient for perfect skin let's see if you have a question now is the time to ask it really really quick before we move on hello Magdalene how are you and Margaret you're in Barbados golden child welcome let's see who else is here um, Ison Atkinson what is the name of the tool and this is simple facial massager a facial massager and if you were on during the, the holidays we actually gave away a lot of these most people that you know want something on the channel 
got either one of these or another kind of a facial massager. I like using them, so I like to give them away. And price point, they're also not really, you know, um, too, too, too. I want to actually give Keisha a set of these. And um, you're going to get it, Keisha. <laughs> you're going to get it. You're going to get a basket of stuff, believe it or not. Keisha is all the way in Jamaica. But yes, Keisha, I have a little thing making up for you hopefully you know i've been getting the jamaica fever like jamaica fever if you're just joining yes i am jamaican and i um i migrated like almost what 25 years now yes but um sometime i do get that little jamaica fever where i like want to go home and all of that but anyway we're talking about natural ingredients for the skin to help the skin to look healthy now let's start out with number one if you're just joining what you miss just the way to take care of your skin to get it healthy by cleansing your skin and do a facial scrub at least twice per week and use your beauty products layer them on the skin am and pm and then you are good to go and don't forget to massage the face okay i'm trying to straighten my nose right now look what i'm doing trying to straighten my nose now you can actually do this you know just try to get especially for some of you with down here looking a little you know anyway straightening the nose um it doesn't really matter if your nose is already straight this is good. What I like to use this for, and for those of you who are questioning about the upper lips the other day, this is the tool that I like to use for my upper lip massage. I tend to do it down like this, with this like I'm shaving, and I also pull it across, roll it across like this for the upper lips. I also use this on my chin area also. Like, you know, just turn it on, turn it on. Now, this is not a sponsored video. These are my beauty tools that I use, and these are beauty tools that I normally share with some of my lucky subscribers on the channel. So don't ask me about, you know, it's not sponsored, they are mine, okay? All right, so let's see if there's any question, and then we are gonna talk about, I assume you're in Jamaica. Where in Jamaica How are you? Hi, Jar Laird, how are you? And let's talk about the very first ingredient. The very first ingredient that can help your skin to reach to the next level is, believe it or not, sugar. Now, what am I talking about? How is sugar is gonna help me to get perfect skin? Sugar is gonna help you to get perfect skin because it is gonna help to exfoliate the skin. You need to exfoliate your skin at least, at least, twice per week okay you can exfoliate on a sunday and you can exfoliate on a wednesday but get it at least twice per week and we're using sugar because it is natural it also contains glycolic acid which will have to get rid of the dead skin cells and the grease and dirt from the skin most people have sugar in their home okay most people have sugar some people have like the dark brown sugar some people have white sugar but you're gonna find most home with at least a little bit of a sugar. Whether you use sugar, yes or no. I hardly use sugar, to be honest. Before, I used to use it a lot. Now, I don't use much because, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Now, what can you do with the sugar to help you to get perfect skin? You can use the sugar, whether white sugar or brown sugar, to make a facial scrub. You can use the white sugar or the brown sugar. What brand of brown sugar you use in your demo? Is it raw sugar? Yes, my sugar is actually raw sugar. But to, the honest truth is, um, I use this this Guyanese sugar. Yes, I'm Jamaican, but I'm using Guyanese sugar. Yes, because they have some amazing raw sugar. Okay, and that is the honest truth. So uh, there's this place in Queens that I go and I would get like a big bag, like four pounds or so of raw sugar in the raw well if i say that then i'm gonna be um, announcing a brand but let's just say sugar then raw sugar okay yes that's what i use now here is the reason why i use more brown sugar than white sugar and this is facts guys the brown sugar is actually softer than the white sugar the process to make the white sugar is the next step 
above the brown sugar the brown sugar is right after you get the molasses and some of you don't know the process of sugar making you know if you're like my age you might and from an island that grows sugar cane you might have an idea now the way they extract is like they boil down the sugar cane juice and when they boil it down the first thing that they're gonna get is this thick tarry looking thing that they call molasses molasses is used widely for browning meat and a lot of other things and then after that they boil it down some more and then they're gonna get um brown sugar lumpy sugar and then they refine it a little more and then they get the second level of brown sugar to the third level of brown sugar which normally becomes finer and then it reached to the stage where it's all bleached out to white sugar don't go throw away your white sugar now okay because when i was growing up when you have white sugar to make that lemonade that was the thing to have because the brown sugar let it look a little dark and you want your lemonade to look bright and pretty so you use the white sugar but when you're making like the kool-aid also you want it to look pretty you use the white sugar now i realized that you know brown sugar was you know the better sugar to use so anyway softer than the white sugar it melts on the skin and it is more natural okay not saying white sugar is not natural now but the brown sugar really if you're into skincare homemade it's best to get the brown sugar mix that brown sugar with any juice if you have dull looking skin mix the brown sugar with orange juice lemon juice grapefruit juice you can mix it with cucumber juice you can mix it with um give me give me a juice beetroot juice <laughs> carrot juice you can mix it with that you can also mix it with your oil any oil soy oil um vegetable oil um olive oil coconut oil sweet almond oil you can mix it with anything and what you're doing with this sugar is exfoliating your skin that is uh, the cheapest okay I promise not to use the word cheap on this channel that is the least expensive facial scrub that you can get and guess what it is one of even without blinking one of the most effective facial scrub that you can use on the skin whether you're gonna go buy one for $50 or not this brown sugar just mixed with any fruit juice and any oil is gonna help your skin to look amazing once you use it at least two to three times per week. Any question on number one ingredient for perfect looking skin? Why do we exfoliate? Clearing the pores, cleaning it out, getting rid of dead skin cells and making way for your beauty products to work much better on the skin. And Faith, um, thanks for the love, send this positive vibe for everyone. And we really need that, you know, we really need positive vibes. Now, Carleen Stewart here in Jamaica. Now, you know, I have um, a friend. I'm not even going to say a friend. Let's say associate um, with that name. Well, growing up, we um, I used to go to the church a lot, and we have a Carleen Stewart. But I know it's not that Carleen Stewart because that Carleen Stewart, I think, lives somewhere in Canada. Anyway, welcome to the chat. And I know we Jamaicans all have the same name. All right, so let's move on. Maureen French, welcome back. How are you? And Richard, how are you? I feel like, you know, I need to send you an email. I'm, I miss you so much. It's like, you know, the connection. You know what I mean? All right. So let's move on to our second ingredient. And our second natural ingredient for perfect skin is oatmeal. Why oatmeal? The same thing, like the brown sugar, is going to help to exfoliate the dead skin cells. But when it comes on to oatmeal, it do more than that. Oatmeal also will get rid of the excess oil from your skin, meaning if you have oily skin, it's going to have to absorb all that oil. So use a lot of oatmeal on your skin for oily skin and also for you if you have combination skin. Now, when you are going to use oatmeal on the skin, you just need to blend it to a powder. Once it becomes powder, then the sky is the limit. You can also choose to add a tablespoon of brown sugar and a tablespoon of oatmeal. Mix it together with a little oil and use it to exfoliate yourself or some juice, orange juice, lemon juice, and use it to exfoliate 
exfoliate yourself. Another amazing natural ingredient to take your skin from dull, rough to a more perfect looking skin. We're gonna move on since we have about 15 that we're gonna talk about. So let's get on with it really, really fast. The next ingredient is egg. And what are we gonna be doing with the egg? We're gonna use the egg white on the skin. What does the egg white do to the skin? It helps to tighten and firm the skin. Egg white is good for sagging jawline, it's good for wrinkle on the forehead, it's also good to decrease the deep parentheses. So there you have three ingredients. How do you prepare the egg white? Just break that egg, put the white, take um, Pa, 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 pa. Just get, um, what, what am I saying? What am I saying? We are, oh, separating the egg yolk from the egg white. So once you separate the egg yolk, why don't you use the egg white yolk for the skin? Yes, you use it. I like to use the, the yolk, but when you separate the yolk from the white, the white do contain more skin tightening properties. If you have blackhead, this is also a good facial mask for you. Just whip that egg white up and guess what? Put a little bit of a fragrance to it because if you don't like the smell of egg and you gotta wear that on your face for 30 minutes, you might gag. Okay, so what you need to do, add a little lemon zest or a little lime zest. I love the, the smell of the lime in the egg so mix that in or if you don't have any of that and you have essential oil a good one is some tea tree oil ate the smell also two bats anyway some lavender oil and just mix that up and use that egg white on your face now be mindful of your eyebrow don't let it get in and to keep it away from the eye so your forehead and the rest of your face and it's good for the chin and jawline also and leave it on for 30 minutes you're on your way to tighter firmer looking skin especially for those people that are now seeing the sign of wrinkles on the skin fate um lucy you have a relative on the show on the show lucy fate 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 okay lemongrass I'm, I'm trying to remember your daughter name like i'm like what Lucy, but it's not fate, but it's something very close. Lucy, you sure you don't have another child you're not telling me about because it's fate and anyway, let's move on. That is Lucy and I personal business. Hello, fate. How are you? Welcome to the chat. Um, lemongrass and grapefruit essential oil, regular sugar, CBD oil for oba oil, really carrier oil, amazing for brightening and toning tone in the face and body. So Faith is giving us a recipe right here. Lemongrass and grapefruit essential oils. These are essential oils right now, okay? Regular sugar, which could be white sugar or brown sugar, and CBD oil or ova oil, whichever one you have access to, and we're using those as a carrier oil. You mix all of that up together and you use it on your face. Now with this essential oil I'm assuming that just by looking at the mixture this is best to use at night and you can actually use this over your moisturizer or you could put a two drops of the oh no this is a scrub sorry this is a scrub we have sugar in it all right so it is a scrub so you can have two essential oil to your sugar lemongrass essential oil and grapefruit essential oil you can do ojoba oil or you can do CBC CBD Oil. So that makes it very, very pleasant. And not only that, the lemon um, es um, grass essential oil also contain antibacterial properties. And it do have a very, very pleasant fragrance. So not only will you get the benefit of exfoliating, but it will wake you up. And that aroma, ooh, I'm going to try that. I, thank you so much, Faith. I've never ever done that combination. And I have all these oils. So I am gonna try this because I can just smell it right now, okay? All right, so if you're just joining, we are sharing natural ingredients that can help to get your skin to look better than it really look now. And if you really already have amazing looking skin, there are just some more tips to keep it looking that way, okay? And if you're struggling with your skin, you can use some of these ingredients, follow a skincare routine, and you're on your way to gorgeous looking skin. Now, um, she's she TV. It's called Fever Grass. Now, let me tell you something. Fever Grass and Lemon Grass. Now, I normally, I would normally like, you know, okay. Lemon Grass. When you research before, I used to think that okay, 
yes, it's called fever grass. Okay, I was just mixed. I was just gonna go on a on a on a thing, but it's gonna take too long. Yes. Yeah, so depending on where you live, the fever grass is really lemon grass. Okay, and it is widely used. Let's say Jamaica for tea. But when it comes on to like Thailand and these places, they use it as a spice or as a herb in cooking, okay? And it's also good to use in, you know, aromatherapic, like, you know, beauty products and so on and so forth. So it's really, really good. I grew up drinking that as tea. And later on, I learned that it tastes really good when you, you know, cook with it. So I start cooking with it. And then later on, I find that, you know, when you get essential oil and all of that, it makes a place so anyway so that's a little history on that i was gonna go on a tantrum and you know but let's get off it right now because we have more to go if you're just joining we're sharing tips and you know to get your skin to look perfect don't be afraid to ask as many questions as you can wait 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 wait, wait. we're twins my daughter you know oh and faith the really no <laughs> okay so you know what you know you know you know you know i was like wait a minute wait a minute but it just wasn't coming back because you know it's um don't be offended by this um faith it's always like i'm always so you know oh Oh, 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 maybe because hope is into, you know, some of these things. I'm always like, oh, 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 because it's like I'm not thinking, you know, faith. But then I'm like, anyway, we'll talk about that later, Lucy. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on. Margaret, I was watching a previous video and you commented that you need to call Margaret. What it's me you were referring to. There is a Margaret and... Uh, I'm not sure we have I think we have a few on the channel did you want something because if if that is the case there was phone number that was missing so that's the reason why I wanted to call Margaret because whoever the person is whichever one of the Margaret that wants something the phone number was missing okay all right so let's move on and what can I use to go to when I used to go to beauty school you use the egg white for tired face okay yes you can use the egg white for a tired face now here is why you're referring to tired face tired face is when your face is looking draggy down like when you use the egg white it push it right up and give you this awakeness so technically you're not wrong using the the egg white is also good for Face that look tired when you use it, it lift the face up because it smooth the wrinkles and fine line. Denise, I said, I'm late. No, better late than never. We're just getting wild up. Hi, Taryn, how are you? Watching the replay. All right, so we're gonna move on with the ingredient. Now let's talk about one of my favorite ingredient to use: avocado. Now when you come on to avocado. This is one ingredient that you're gonna find most people, whether they're rich or they're poor, when they wanna try a home remedy, this is one ingredient that they'll turn to. Take a look around, even like, you know, like the Kardashians and so on, when they're doing their DIY, it's always like the avocado. It is for a reason. The avocado works on the skin. I do know that some of you, 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 might not have access to the avocado. No, I grew up eating that thing like crazy. I just like go in the backyard, wait for it to drop off of the tree. We don't pick it, okay? If, if you know anything about avocado, back then, we don't pick avocado. If you pick the avocado, you might just get it wrong. You wait every morning, you go to the avocado, and if you're, watching you have an avocado tree you know what i'm talking about comment you have to wait for it to, to drop so you go every morning first thing in the morning you look for the avocado that drop it's not gonna burst because it's not overripe at that time and that's the one you take up if you pick it you might just pick a young one right so i grew up just going to under the tree picking up the avocado cutting it putting salt and black pepper on it eating it never even used to make guacamole and that is the truth okay now i am i can't get enough avocado on my skin but the difference is i gotta pay for it okay i bought a little bag of with the what they call that the ash avocado for 
and that was like six ninety nine. Full little thingy. But guess what? I like it. I want it, so I have no choice. And guess what I do? I just take one slice, a very teeny tiny. Well, I'm lying, because you guys see the video. I cut one in two, okay, yes. So I use a half of one, that's what I use. I just forget, though, you're gonna be like, no, 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 you use a half, I saw the video, it's a half. Okay, so I use a half of one, and I just crush it up and add some stuff to it. I use it on my face. I love it, guess what? It is rich in omega-3. It contains all of the vital nutrients that your skin need. A vitamin, B vitamin, C vitamin, and even have some E vitamin. It also contains all the electrolytes. Electrolytes, potassium, magnesium, sodium. What does the electrolyte does to the skin? It locks the moisture in the skin. Perfect, perfect, perfect for your DIY. And if you use it, dry skin people, wrinkled skin people, people who are getting on in age, this is the remedy for you. This, if you can get your hands on the avocado, fresh avocado, cut it open, you can just blend it with some aloe vera gel, ooh, put it on your face, your neck, and decollete, read a book, read a book, read a book. Who on the chat still read books, huh? If you're watching and you still read books, put your hands up. I used to love reading, and notice I use the word used to. I don't read much anymore because I don't get the time. So my cousin Pauline, some of you know who Pauline is, she was like, girl, cause we used to exchange books when we were little. Not little, the honest truth is when we were like in our 20s and 30s, we used to exchange books. We started out at a young age reading like Babsy Twin, Nancy Drew, All the Boys, you know, and all of those kind of books. And then we get on to Grace Livingston, Hill, and Mills and Boom. Some of you don't even know anything about those kind of books. That's when you start to get into the teenage year and you want to read all those lovey-dovey stuff. So you go into those kind of books. And then after that, it's school books, right? School books, school books, school books. And then after that, we get back into the romance. And then we know the, like, crime and, you know, and all of these kind of things. And, you know, just read, 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 read. But we didn't have internet, okay? We'd, I'm not straying from the topic, guys. We're just talking reality. And we didn't have internet, so we couldn't like just pick up, you know, our iPad or anything. So that is why we used to read so much. That was like our fun. That is what's getting lost into book world, okay? Now I wish, I wish, I wish. Harlequin Romance, there you go also. I wish I could read and I have a lot of books that I refuse to get rid of. Even though where I have some of my books now, it look a little junky, it's too much books and it's like, you know, you want to lighten your place a little, but I just hold on to the books. My cousin was like, get into audio, get into audio. This is not a sponsor. We're not sponsoring other books now, not a sponsor video. We're just talking. Get into audio. Start listening. And, you know, she tell me how to go and get the books. Go join the library. I did before, so I go do all of that. And uh, honestly, I listened to one book. And this is a book. <laughs> Listen, hear the stroke now. I listen while I'm doing my work. One audio book so far. I hope Pauline is not on the job today. And the book that I actually listened to is one that I read about four times already, which is The Alchemist, okay? If you have, you're on the chat and you're watching and you read The Alchemist, comment, comment, comment. The honest truth, however, is listening to it on audio, some of the things that I miss a lot, it's more clearer, okay? So if you're you know, not reading, go back. So where was I? Let's go back to the avocado, okay? So use the avocado on the skin. Um, Carly, yes, a whole lot of reading those days, definitely. I said those were my favorite books too, see what I mean? And who else is here? Denise, True, um, Jamaican, I love this. Um, as I'm a beauty therapist, thank you so much. Um, Margaret, you also do not pick avocado after rainfall. Okay, okay, okay. So you see, people know what I'm talking about. Santina, Santina, um, any natural remedy for skin tag on face and neck? Yes, apple cider vinegar, mix that up with some 
banana peel that helps a lot you can also make that apple cider vinegar with a little bit of a garlic and use it on the skin tag all right so we are moving on we're moving on we're moving on from the avocado if you're just joining we're talking about natural ingredients at least 15 am i gonna get to the 15 i'm trying i'm trying but you know i like to talk a lot and especially when i'm in a good mood i'm actually in a good mood today even though i didn't get any of the sunshine outside but um yeah today's a good day today's a good day i'm i have a little secret but i wish i could share with you guys but i can't i can't i can't right now but very very soon i will share the secret why i'm in such a good mood all right so let's move on to aloe vera gel we're not gonna end a show without talking about aloe vera gel as a natural ingredient a natural ingredient that is good for most skin type the fresh aloe vera gel so today i went on TikTok, right and i was looking on TikTok because i'm like you know a lot of people like oh why are you not talking you know why are you not tick talking but i don't want to go over on TikTok. With the same i have a tiktok page right i have a TikTok page i make a few videos you know with my remedies and stuff like that but the honest truth is i was thinking at the time that those videos would do well on TikTok since everybody was like oh anyway the dancing the dancing the dancing and all of that so i was like you know i'm gonna try to dance on TikTok, okay anyway i went over on TikTok today to see if i really get into the little dancing and you know a little, uh, 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 uh. but um i got carried away i guess what i i was watching i was actually watching skincare video so now i know that they do have skincare video on TikTok. so i'm gonna hopefully you know try to do something i totally forget what i was telling you guys about i get so much into the TikTok dancing that i i just lose my train of thought so let me go back Oh, aloe vera gel. Now I remember. So there was this video. See, I went for dancing and then their skincare. Someone take a piece of aloe vera, fresh aloe vera gel. That video got about 2 million views. And they cut open the aloe vera gel, the aloe vera leaf, and then they take a comb and they comb the aloe vera gel like this. Comb it like this. And I know this is bulls, okay? But anyway, they comb the aloe vera gel like this. And then they grab the gel and they froth it up in their hands like this. And then they do like this. Honestly, that is a trick. And I'm keeping it real with you. Because it's not going to stretch that far. If you use aloe vera all the time, you're going to know this. I don't know what they put in there. They may have something else that look like aloe vera or they might have something to it. But anyway, they draw it out like that. They cover the face, cover the face, cover the face. And I know it fool a lot of people that, you know, it could stretch out that far and they cover the face and all. people were like amazed by it. It looked good, but using aloe vera every day, I know that something has went on right there. But aloe vera gel always, always, always is it's gonna be around. It's gonna be around. Everyone like to use aloe vera gel, and not only that, most of your skincare products that you buy out there contain some form of an aloe vera gel. It's good for sunburn, good for wrinkles and fine lines, have antibacterial properties. It has vitamin C. Aloe vera gel will have to trace spots and blemishes on the skin, and it's also good to play with. You know, it's good to play with, it's good to rub in your hair, it's good for dandruff. It's really an amazing thing. So, how does you how does it you know affect the skin? What benefit do you get to help your skin to get perfect? What I just said, it takes care of all of those minor skin issues. And if you use it on the regular, it will leave the skin with a natural glow. Now, when it comes on to store bought aloe vera gel, I like to use that as a leave on. So, when I'm making my facial serum, I like to use the store bought. Now, when you're buying your aloe vera gel, look for between 95%. To 100% pure aloe vera gel. The honest truth is, when you get up to the 99% aloe vera gel, it's not going to be jelly because they do use some form of a acid in the aloe vera gel to make it have that jelly consistency that look like a syrup. If you watch some of my older videos, I used to use the liquid, liquid aloe vera gel. 
that's the hundred percent natural aloe vera gel however when you make like serums and stuff like that for presentation like on youtube it tend not to look as serumy as you'd want it to so you know i tend to reach now for the 95 percent that is more thicker just for presentation but honestly go for the hundred percent that is watery it's the better one do not use the aloe vera drink that you bought in the store to drink that is loaded with sugar and all different kind of things it's not pure aloe vera okay be mindful of that but aloe vera on the skin cut it open scrape it with a comb and rub it on your face rub it on your face your forehead and you can leave it on your face for 30 minutes rinse off mix it with yogurt mix it with um any fruit mix it with lemon mix it with papaya mix it with the avocado is going to take your skin to the next level amazing and it actually is one of the top natural ingredient to use on your skin for beautiful skin you're just joining what you miss we share how to cleanse your skin to pave the way to use some of these natural ingredients to get good results we're going to take some questions and then we are going to move on sandra springer good night welcome back um, Taryn, I always buy the fresh aloe vera plant and the fresh aloe vera plant or the fresh aloe vera leaf is the way to go. Hi, John. I see you. How are you, John? Hey, send me an email. That's John McFarlane. All right. So send me an email. Uh, old subscriber. What I, John, I'm not calling you old now, okay? I normally have the habit of saying, you know, when I'm talking about my diarted faithful subscribers that has been around forever i always like old subscribers but you know i don't mean that you're old i just mean you've been here forever all right and i'm so grateful to have you and always you know checking in from time to time all right so no question if you're just watching give us a thumbs up show some love thumbs up the video and share your thoughts with us share your recipe and um, your beauty tips, anything you have to share, ask your question, and we're glad to answer and listen to you, and you know, enjoy marine French, welcome. All right, so let's move on to another ingredient, and this is also one of, apart from um, aloe vera gel, I would say this is another one that I love, like love, love but some of you always complain I don't have that I don't have that I don't have that and that is papaya okay papaya is good to eat yes you can just cut it peel it cut it eat it you can mix drinks with it you can you know blend it up with some lime and ginger in it Ooh, refreshing all natural drink okay or you can just take a piece blend it up crush it up put some yogurt in it and just apply it on the skin it is a good natural ingredient for wrinkles. It's a good natural ingredient for wrinkles. It also helps to hydrate the skin. Papaya is one ingredient that if you do not have avocado, you can use it to replace the, the, the avocado. They're different composition, but it's get the job done just as the avocado. I like to use it. Now, guess what I start doing? I normally buy my avocado, right? And I normally just cut the avocado, use a piece, have a piece left over. It's in the refrigerator. And before you know it, it's go bad. Now I start to freeze it, okay? Now I start to freeze it. The honest truth is you can only freeze it if you're going to, you know, mix it in a drinks and blend it out and all of that. So now I am, you know, preserving my avocado. So today I want to make, a, uh, not avocado, a papaya video for you guys. And I went and I took out the frozen papaya and I was like, I I don't know if you guys gonna accept this frozen papaya so I just put it back and went and grabbed something else so tomorrow we're having a video using cucumber instead of papaya but when you watch that video please note that I use the cucumber to replace the, the papaya because that's what I really wanted to use in that video now um Lorraine hello I try your facial mask oatmeal and tomato and that's great however what can I use for pores you can use the oatmeal and put a little brown sugar in there and exfoliate your face you can use any form of a clay mask that is going to have to tighten and shrink those pores but remember the best way to shrink pores is to steam your face when you steam that face and steam your face for about three minutes or so 
make sure you don't go too close and when you steam that face then you exfoliate the skin after you exfoliate the skin what you're doing is cleaning out those pores and then you use a good facial toner a good serum and moisturizer and massage your face do it for six weeks and you're on your way to shrinking those pores now I normally talk about you know how to get rid of pores you really don't get rid of pores your skin is just all pores you just really shrink them and what really causes it to open is the grease and dirt and dead skin cells from your your face and the environment okay so exfoliate and I can't preach that enough if you have to do one good thing for your skin exfoliate at least two times per week one good thing for healthy glowing skin is to exfoliate at least two times a week and while you are at it steam the face and massage the face okay steam exfoliate massage those three and in on will get you on track to gorgeous looking skin all right hello makeup forever how is the weight loss going anyway we're going to talk about that um a sheep s a g b and a first time welcome i'm going to try to pronounce your name i might make a mess of it but excuse me so that is h s a g shiban shiban lucy <laughs> with this one what okay i know i'm messing it up i'm gonna try a second time b and a s a g b shiba shibna anyway shibna tell me if i'm wrong i think i'm our right, shibna that I think is right. Let me know if I'm right. Let's talk about lemon and lime. And we're going to just drop orange in it also. All these are citric, um, citrus fruits. And what do you find in these uh, fruits? They all have one thing in common, which is vitamin C. Now, when it comes on to lime and lemon, some people can use that directly on the skin. Not everyone can, especially if you have sensitive skin. However, you can dilute it, okay? The lemon juice, the lime juice, they're two different juice, to be honest, but they do have the citric acid. And one day I'm going to come on and this, uh, um, explain the difference. I think years ago I did that between lemon and lime, not today. Anyway, when you're using the lemon, the lime, or the orange, the orange juice is less um, strong than, than the lemon and the lime pungent less pungent it's can use directly on the skin the lime and the lemon juice more acid in it so you can add a little bit of a water however personally nowadays i find that i prefer to use the peel the peel is rich of uh, more vitamin c however and it's easier to handle and it's less irritating to the skin now you can use any of these citrus fruit and you can mix it with other ingredients to use on the skin however grapefruit you can just cut open a grapefruit and rub on your face as a matter of fact try this one get a grapefruit go in your shower start just cut open that grapefruit make a peel in the center so that the peel don't irritate the skin cut it down take out the seed go in your shower scrub your face from head to toe you can put a little olive oil on it head to toe and then put that water on that burst of grapefruit going up amazing you know one of my dream honestly listen to this and this is true now one of my dream is one day to have a spa now this spa that i want to have is somewhere that you could come with your basket of fruit okay bring your basket of fruit or i'll provide some and when you get there you do have um you your spa bought is with natural fruits let's say like cucumber or you know you want a cucumber spa bought you crush all that cucumber you put it in the water and you go in there and you just enjoy yourself you do that with um with the with the the, the banana you do that with the with the avocado it's not gonna be like puree but you're gonna dump let's say a tub of water you dump a bucket of any of these fruits it's gonna release the enzyme and you're just gonna relax in it and you can put a little bubble bath to you know freeze it anyway that's just something i dream about i think you know it would be really nice but you can do that for yourself at home let's get back to the natural <laughs> natural ingredients okay all right so um well oh thumbs up oh i got it yes i like to, to challenge myself to pronounce um names now michi um oh slime juice is so good i use it and it help yes lime juice is good no lemon go ahead and use a lime all right let's move on to the next ingredients because we're running out of time we are going to talk a little bit about honey h-o-n-e-y not the one that you have uh, anyway 
let me keep it real and keep it clean. <laughs> anyway, so Ani, and I get a lot of beating on this channel for the way I pronounce Ani. Listen, I'm Jamaican, okay? If I lose the H and I just go to the O, bear with me. You know what I'm talking about, okay? I used to get a little offended by it, but nowadays it's like, whatever honey 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 I, I even can't pronounce it now it doesn't matter you know what i'm talking about it has been used for centuries on the skin for centuries on the skin because it have antibacterial properties as we know it's all from the bees and i'm not going to talk about something that i know about honey some of you my subscriber you all already know the ones that are always here i have a little thing about honey and you can mix it in any of these diy but you can also use it directly on the skin. However, I like to dilute that if I'm gonna use it because it don't spread well, it's very, very um, sticky, but it works on the skin, okay? Any of your DIY that you're making, you can add a little bit of a, te a teaspoon or half a teaspoon oatmeal with honey works, a little honey in the avocado, a little honey in the papaya, a little honey in that brown sugar and the remedy, um, one of our subscribers just gave with the over oil or the seed um, CBD oil or the, the lemongrass essential oil. You can add a little honey to that. So you can add a little honey to any of your DIY and use it on the skin. Works like a charm. It's, you're also going to find it in a lot of your beauty products, a lot of your bath products because it works. I've been around forever and it's not going anywhere. If you use it for acne prone skin, it will help to get rid of the acne because of the antibacterial however i still suggest that you add a little tea tree oil to that honey and add a little bit of uh, water to that mix it up into a nice paste with the tea tree oil apply it on your pimples spot treat and you're on your way to clean clear looking skin another ingredient that i'm going to talk about is coffee now one of my subscribers was sending actually sent me an article where they were saying that coffee doesn't have any effect on the skin. However, women have been using coffee on the skin for generation to generation, for centuries to centuries, and they normally swear by the coffee. I use the coffee on my skin and I like it also. So anyway, you know with technology, they're always going to come with a lot of things. As a matter of fact, some of you might not know that in spite of the past, Two to three years everyone was turning to natural 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 even here on this platform they're really trying sometimes to you know give this natural thing uh anyway don't want to put myself in trouble so let me not spell it out on here i might have to have a show somewhere else all right so coffee contains uh, caffeine and caffeine help with wrinkles that's basically what it is so when you use the coffee on the skin it helps to decrease the wrinkles and fine lines. Now you can use the coffee with yogurt. You can use, I like to make a good coffee serum. And I think I share a few of my coffee serum on this channel. I brew the coffee, not flavored coffee now, okay? You need that, and I like the coffee beans where I could blend it. I know what is in it. I just blend it and brew that coffee, set it aside to cool. And when it's cool, as a matter of fact, guess what? If you don't want to add any heat, to source to the coffee beans. You can grind the coffee. You can actually pour cold water on it and you can, that's cold brew they call it, and you can set it aside for about a week or so and you go back to strain that off and make your special serum or use it up in your DIY. That is also preserving all of that caffeine, okay? So my serum is somewhere on my channel. Don't know where to find it. I think I'll make a new one for you guys very very soon but coffee is also another natural ingredient that you can use on your skin once you follow the skincare routine of washing of steaming exfoliating and using your mask and using your skincare products on a daily toner serum moisturizer and facial oil okay so um any question if you're just joining you have a question for us comment 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 i think i'm gonna go back to do in my upper mouth right here. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Anyway, let's move on. If you have a question, go ahead and ask it because I see my hour is almost up. It's Saturday night. 
Washington? Yes, that's not true. Anyway, so let's move on. Um, we are going to talk about, I actually make a list. I don't normally make a list. Tonight I make a list. And you could see me struggling like, um, um, uh, um, because it's 15 and I need to at least beta carotene. Beta carotene. And we get that from, you know, a little bit of that is in um, the papaya. We also find beta carotene in a very favorite of a lot of you, which is the carrot. It's actually one of the most popular ingredients that people, you know, associated with beta carotene. But you can find beta carotene is even in, um, what's that pink one? Um, beetroot and other stuff. Okay, yellow peppers and stuff like that. Anyway, um, beta carotene, let's just say it's um, carrot, okay? And carrot is rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. Carrot is good for your hair, it's good for your nails, it's good for your face on a whole, help to smooth wrinkles and fine lines. You can, you know, break that fresh carrot, make that juice, drink it, <laughs> and it's gonna shine on the outside. Or you can just blanch it. I like to blanch the carrot for my facial mask, to be honest, because it blends better, and not only that, it lasts a little longer. So I blanch the carrot, and then I blend that carrot, and I like to mix it with like yogurt, and apply it on the face as a good facial mask. Really, really good, rich in beta carotene. And I'm gonna do a show talking only about beta carotene, like really get into details, and explain all of the little, you know, nitty gritty about using beta carotene on the face acid let's talk a little bit about acid such as like lactic acid linoleic acid oleic acid all of these are great for the skin and all of this acid comes in natural forms okay like linoleic acid you can find in castor oil lactic acid you can find in um yogurt or milk okay and you also have um um, oleic acid, which you can find in the butchal oil and stuff like that. So you're getting all these amazing acid from these natural ingredients that I just mentioned. All this acid is good for the skin. Now let's talk a little bit about retinol. We're going to talk about retinol in the natural form. Retinol is really a vitamin A, and you can find vitamin A in many oils like avocado oil, um, cacao oil and the good old rosehip oil. You can also find vitamin A in like carrots. You can find vitamin A in um, beets like I just mentioned. You can find vitamin A even in like flour but not as much as in some of these oils. Okay, so natural oils and natural, um, all these fancy names that you think that you have to go buy in a bottle, you find them in all these natural ingredients that I just mentioned. Now let's see what I'm missing. I have bitter car. Oh, green tea. How could I forget green tea? Green tea is a, I, the video tomorrow do have green tea also. I like to use green tea on my skin. I like to use it as a facial toner. So what I do, I brew that green tea and I have many, many videos on this channel using either green tea or matcha. I use it a lot, that's why you get so much videos. Use it for myself. I like to brew the green tea. I like to put my star anise in it. And now when it's cool, I'm adding a little coconut water to it and I'm shaking that up and I keep that in my fridge and that's what I use as a facial toner. I have a wide variety of mix and matching using the green tea as a facial toner, but it's like one of my go-to um, facial toner to use on my skin. Chill. It's good for wrinkles and fine line, and it also contains caffeine, just like the, the coffee, and that's why it's helped to smooth the skin. So we have, um, so I'm basically done. And I have, um, oh, Hallman. I didn't talk about Hallman. We'll talk about it another day. We also have rose water, which you can use as a facial toner. We have tea tree oil, which is good for acne prone skin. And we also have clay, simple clay, like green clay, uh, Moroccan clay. All those things are good for healthy looking skin. In spite of all these natural ingredients that I shared, over 15 natural ingredients that is good for the skin. The trick is you can have all these ingredients and nothing happen to the skin. You can have your kitchen stock with all the greens and the oatmeal and the milk and the egg, nothing happened to your skin. You can also use them on your skin and nothing happened. The trick is cleanse the skin, steam the face, cleanse the skin, exfoliate your skin, 
And once you do that, your products, whether you're using your DIY or you're using your store-bought, will work better on the skin. The next thing is to be consistent. AM and PM. Make sure that you don't, don't go to sleep without moisturizing your skin or using a good nighttime serum on the skin. And when all else, with everything, the creme of the crop is to massage your face. You want your face to look younger. You want your skin to have nice, natural glow. You want to get perfect skin. You cleanse, you exfoliate, you do your mask, and you also use this amazing beauty products, natural or store-bought, and you massage your face. And this you do every day and give yourself six weeks. Develop a skincare routine, okay? I am actually going to start doing something. Some of you are not going to like it, but guess what? The fact that I am receiving so many emails for developing skincare routine, I'm going to start to charge you guys for it, right? So anyone want a skincare routine, send me five bucks. I'm joking. I'm, I'm jo I don't even know if I'm joking, okay? But it takes time, okay? It takes time because you have to send a picture, you have to send a number, we have to talk about the skin and all of that kind of thing. I Am I like, you know, an expert to give this advice? I will tell you guys very, very soon, okay? Very, very soon I have something to share. All right, so that is my time tonight, okay? That is my time tomorrow. We're going to take, let's take some questions. Okay. Since it's 830, what do I have to do after this show? After the show, I'm going to finish editing tomorrow video. Then that's all I'm doing for the night work wise. And then I'm going to probably go take a shower and so on. So let me spend five more minutes chit chatting and then I am out of here. So if you have a question, if you haven't thumbs the video up, share some love, give the video a thumbs up, like, thumbs up the video that is how you support the channel and comment that's also how you support ask question that's also how you support share your findings share whatever you're using that's also how you support okay so give us some thumbs up take us up to at least 100 thumbs up tonight and while you are doing that let's take some question oh question um bridge Bridge hyperpigmentation is one of the biggest issue. Um, Try everything under the sun, anything that actually works. Now, when it comes down to hyperpigmentation, the very first thing you need to know is how you're getting them. When do you get them? Are they old pigmentation? Or are you seeing new ones? And when we're talking about hyperpigmentation, remember, hyperpigmentation could be anything. Hyperpigmentation could be from acne scars, could be from old scars, could be from blackhead marking, it could be anything. So, how, when did you start getting these? Do you have them like a long time? So, all of these questions we'll have to take in consideration. And why is it that you're trying everything and they're not going away? Are they really hyperpigmentation or are they freckles and so on and so forth? Okay, um, Rita, don't forget your beautiful. Um, tightening water yes yes skin tightening water and um one of my favorite to tighten the skin is the star anise and i use it religiously and i have a video actually several i think maybe two or three showing you how to use make a star anise facial hours and i have another skin tightening water too right yes i have several like you know several several different ingredient but mostly I use the star anise as the base and some green tea all right I'm trying to find comments joy can I keep aloe vera with vitamin E oil on the face overnight yes now when it comes out to the fresh aloe vera if you're gonna use it to sleep with you're gonna apply it to your face at least an hour or so before you go to sleep it's gonna dry on the skin Believe it or not, as slimy and gooey as it is, it will dry on the skin. You can leave it on for an hour and then you go to sleep. Be mindful of your pillowcase because, you know, it might sleep. You leave a little marking or so. If not, get the 100% aloe vera um, gel in the bottle and mix that with the vitamin A and you can, you know, wear it as long as you want. But for the fresh one, apply it and blend it out. That is fluff up, like really, really thin after you blend it and then you put it on your face let it dry before you go to sleep okay very very good question 
how can I go and live chat with you? Now, the honest truth is, we are thinking about doing the live chat for April, and we want to have some guests. But on this platform, it is not like, let's say, like Zoom or so on. So what I intend to do, and I'm going to actually use my this big one right here. So what I'm going to have to do, I might call one of you on, let's say, you know, FaceTime, and then I'm just going to hold it like this, and you're going to be on the chat. Other than that, you'd have to be in the studio with me. And if you want, you know, even more, then you would have to be on a different platform. And we want to do it on this, so this is the best way, I think, that we can do it i think it will work so we'll see so you definitely will they will be able to see you and i have to just practice how to hold it so that you don't look you know like your back is you know what i'm trying to say upside down or something like that and i really really can't wait we have something in the making but it's gonna be on um instagram where some fellow um influencer and i am gonna be one of them we're gonna have a um a weekly um panel where we you know we address certain issues like women issues and so on and so forth and that one we will have guests and in that one people will also be able to come on so it's about a, it's about um five women that is going to get together and do that and i'll talk about that um some more and some of the issues that we are going to be discussing are some issues that some of you can't wait for us to talk about which we are not able to discuss on this platform okay so um um karmesha or kamisha oh kamisha i need a toner my skin is uneven and my face is clear but it comes back because i have eczema all right so you have eczema make sure you get a bottle of tea tree oil that is going to help with the antibacterial you can also choose to use a little lavender oil and you can use ingredients that have antibacterial properties like the aloe vera gel. So your face is, and guess, okay, right here. You need a toner. Try, I think Lucy just post one of my toner. The Star Agnes toner is honestly, that one is geared towards, you know, aging skin, like wrinkled skin like ours that, you know, we're up in age. But you can do the refreshing one where you can use the, the, the green tea. We have several. Try one. Make sure you have all the ingredients. We have, and I'm going to make a new list, playlist, that you can just go on and look and find all the toners. And I'm going to list them like good for anti-aging, good for refreshing. I promise you guys that I'm going to do that for you. So check out my natural facial toner. Your uneven skin. Your skin is uneven. Try this. Next month, we're having a 25-day skincare challenge. If you want your skin to look even, in a month, come and join this challenge, okay? Because every day we're gonna share different tips on how to get your skin to look good. And when it comes on to eczema, I, I realize that whenever I do a show, and I don't wanna say the words much, whenever I do a show and I talk much about like eczema and the other one that start with a PS, I then they kinda flag the show, the system flag the show, for a while like for an hour or so and then they give it the go ahead so nowadays it's like i don't really want to talk much about it because they're thinking that it's not just you know it seems like it's a medical issue or so and we're not supposed to give advice so i kind of stay away from certain skin issues per se so i would say consult you have you know excess eczema or the ps1 then you consult your physician okay all right so um um okay so i just read that juliana how are you again all right so email me though you can send me an email um kamisha send me an email chitabeauty at gmail.com you gotta make sure you put in the headline your name like big because i get like thousands of email right now i have um someone helping me with my email box and it's still really really bad right now i don't, i know you guys can see that that's thirty five thousand. and the reason why i have so many emails is because i have over a thousand videos on this platform 
And what you are not aware of is that all of these videos are still in circulation, okay? So just imagine a thousand videos and a thousand people watch all the thousand videos and comment and ask a question and send an email. That is why it's like this. So it's not just the videos that I post today or last week, it's all the videos, okay? Once you Google something or research for something and there's a video that I have, it might just pop up. And even though the video might be five years old or four years old, you still can ask a question. When I go on, and for some people who are complaining that I don't answer question and videos, when I go on to answer questions, I'm not only seeing question from the immediate video or the weekly video, I'm seeing question as soon as they come in. So when I look down, I might have, let's say, 100 questions, but they are from 100 different videos, okay? So I might answer one here, one there, one there, but the videos that I recently post, you go on it and you say, oh, she only answer one question, but I'm still answering from all these other videos. Even though sometimes I try to just go on and go directly on the, that video to answer some of the questions. So that's really what happened. And that is why when, you know, you might ask a question, you don't get a reply. But sometimes I skip through. Like all my subscribers, I like skip through. I see you still watching. I don't have the time to answer all, but I just be reading, 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 reading. So please understand that. And when you come on YouTube and people normally be like, oh, whenever they make it big on YouTube, they don't answer question. There is, that's the reason why, which I'm giving to you right now. It's not because we don't want to answer the questions. It's just because there's so many questions and we don't get them directly on the video. We get them as soon. So you, you just ask a question right now. And let's say a video I post last week, somebody asked a question on the video this week. When I go on, I'm going to see your question. And then this week and the video picture at the side. Okay. All right. I hope I um, explained that. I was asking about how to cook with the fever grass. Oh, anything that you're making like curry, you could add the fever grass. You can have the fever grass in your rice, just as though you would add bay leaf in the rice. You can have the fever grass, drop it in the water um, when you're cooking the rice and you're gonna give it a nice aroma. Anything with coconut milk, anything with coconut milk, you drop it in that coconut milk and you're gonna have this nice flavor to it, okay? And yes, I cook and I like to cook. I used to be really good at it. I haven't been cooking as much, to be honest. But yes, I know a thing or two about cooking and I used to, I grew up not cooking and then I used cookbook. So like, you know, my knowledge of different, different cuisine is not basic, to be honest. I just need to utilize it a little bit more now. And our moderator is also a very, very good cook. Okay. All right. Any question? Um, if, if a video is two years old and a commercial play, would it still count for you? Yes, 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 yes. It doesn't matter if it's the very first video that I made to the video. Now we still get something from it. Yes. That's what keeps the channel going. Okay. All right. So, um, any more question and then I'm gonna leave. I use fever grass on in my tea and that's the way. Um, and now and I learned something recently which I didn't know that a lot of people have been using fever grass for other medical issues which we won't talk about on the channel because we don't want to get flagged. But yes, it's very popular these days. And I went to my favorite vegan health um, little cafe recently and I noticed they have fever grass um seriously and some other bush in bags packed nicely with label on it and i was like what yes yeah, so it's 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 really out there these days all right lemongrass for those of you who don't know what we're talking about kk can you recommend oil oh can you recommend oil for my loose ear fall out when i wash it okay so if your hair is falling out you need to massage your scalp which i shared the other day you can use rosemary oil, essential oil, but get some castor oil. That is my go-to, okay? Castor oil and mix some coconut oil in it and use it to massage that scalp. Also, you can cover your hair, put it on the scalp, cover that hair, and get some egg. Egg, the yolk of the egg is good, and blend that egg with some aloe vera gel and just um, put it on the hair, put a steam cap over it, 
do that once a week, rinse it out, and then massage the scalp with some castor oil, and it's well, it's an old remedy, but really works tremendously for um, thinning here, okay? All right, don't forget, egg yolk, not the white, egg yolk, and aloe vera, fresh aloe vera is best. Blend the two together, and if you have a little yogurt, you can add it to it too, and put it in the here root, massage it in it, cover it up, walk around. You don't have to go under no dry or nothing. Put that steam cap over it, walk around with it, you know, for an hour or so. Rinse it out, rinse it out really, really well. Remember, you just use egg in your hair. Avocado can also help. And then you just massage the scalp with the aloe vera gel, with the castor oil and coconut oil mixed together. All right, so um, what about, okay, thanks, but what amount, what amount in terms of the castor oil? Just a little drop. Just, just as though you use a hair pomade, to massage your scalp. If you're gonna use the castor oil for with the with the coconut oil, one to one, okay? A tablespoon of castor oil, a tablespoon of coconut oil. Mix the two together in a small container. You're not gonna use all of that near here at the same time. You're just gonna take a little dab and what they call it again, grease the scalp. And then you use your hand like this and massage it on the scalp. Not in, not excess to make your hair limp, okay? Now when it comes on to the aloe vera gel with the egg, one egg yolk to about two ounces of the fresh aloe, blend that up together. If you have yogurt, use it. If you don't, the two is just as good. Or another thing that you can use is what they call ratchet or um, cactus, if you have access to that. Mix that up with the egg um, yolk and use it in your hair. It's a rinse out, so leave it on one hour, cover it and then you rinse it off. Very, very good for thinning here, bald spot, and it's also good to thicken your hair. All right guys, my time is up and I'm gonna take the last question and I'm gonna go. Now tomorrow, for those of you, okay, my time right now is eight minutes to nine. For some of you, the clock changed. We might be one hour ahead, okay? I might be one hour ahead, and that's why I'm giving you the time. My time is 8.52. It might be 7.52 some places. Like for Lucy, I think it's just minutes to 6 or something like that, okay? Now, we're having a show tomorrow, which is our regular show. I'm not going to change the time for the Sunday show. That show has been running at that time forever. A lot of people tend to get confused because now we do these, you know, weekday show. Our Sunday show is always, always at 4.30 Eastern. If you live somewhere where we are our ahead, it's gonna be 3.30 for you, or like for Lucy, what time is it for you, Lucy? 12.30, 11.30, 1.30, um, okay? So please make a note of it and subtract whatever you need to subtract to find the right time. But for Eastern, it's 4.30, and we're on 4.30, every Sunday unless something happened that I can't make the show but that show will always even when we stop doing this live we always will have the Sunday chit chat okay so join me tomorrow for Sunday chit chat 4 30 and I know I'm saying this tonight but a lot of people are still gonna come they're gonna come like oh my goodness we miss an hour yeah, yeah I know but it's gonna take a while and then it fall right back into place thank you Lucy for moderating the show as usual so good went on the Facebook page today Lucy I was so impressed like I was like oh my goodness oh so happy and you're you're you you are you are um, well appreciated and I want you to know that thanks for all my members and thanks for all my subscribers and keep in touch like keep in touch even some of you send email you get some answers sometimes and thanks for Victoria for contributing to our show tonight and last night someone contributed and for some reason I didn't notice it until the show was over so if I if you can't and I don't remember who it was right now but we're grateful and we're thankful Paula hello what do you recommend for skin tag and we just it's probably I didn't answer that before. I think I just scroll right. Or is that some a new question? It's probably someone a question I answered. Thank you all for watching. Be good. Go do a facial. And if it's nighttime where you are, you know, just go clean the face by washing it really, really well. Or go relax. This week, honestly, is the most relaxed I've been for a long time. Okay. 
this week is the most relaxed I've been for a long time because I was going, 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 and I just like, like, just put things down. Like, you know what? I'm gonna just breathe. I'm just gonna breathe. So sometimes you need to do a little of that, even though other things might be falling apart because you don't, you know, just keep going. And especially if you're like the backbone of your family, where you all things up, and and whenever you take a break. Oh, another thing. If you hear me talking, like I have a list, like because your girl is working on her mouth, okay? And you notice this, the dentist just grazed me right there, but it's all good. And I had another little graze here very soon. I told some of you the guys that I am treating myself to something, which I don't normally treat myself, so I'm getting my teeth fixed, like a veneer, causing an arm and a leg, but I deserve it, so I'm actually in the process of, see? And I get in some work done, like, you know, so my mouth is a little dim, nim, 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 nim. but I'm actually excited. I was to do it before the COVID set in and I didn't get a chance to do it. So that's what I'm treating myself to this year. At least I can treat myself to something. So very soon you're going to, I hope you don't change my smile. Like, you know, you know, some people when they get their veneers and they come in the mouth kind of look like, huh, like you could see it. I don't want that. I want mine to look normal, and then I can't reverse it, so pray for me, guys, pray for me. Anyway, that's my time. I love you guys, and I'll see you. And members, we're you know going to be reaching out to you very soon. Be good to yourself. Have a good weekend. Join us tomorrow. Get ready for the 25-day skincare challenge coming up in April, and get all ready for our weekdays. We're going to have a weekdays, but I realize that we're not going to be doing it on the Friday. And, you know, I have some discussion to do with Lucy. So the weekdays um, live is going to be run about midday, Monday to Thursday. Not Monday to Friday, but Monday to Thursday next month. So stay tuned and listen out for that, okay? Be good to yourself. Go eat, go drink, go sleep, go wash your face, go do a facial mask. Do something. I am going to go edit a video right now. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night.